Busy Bees, happy Saturday and happy day 14 of our 30 days of healthy eating and living. Today, like I promised, I am sharing a Target haul with both home and food items. You guys asked me during my haul last week at Costco to share some Target items because you shop there a lot. So I thought, let's go ahead and do some home shopping, some food shopping, and show you how I use everything during the week. If you guys are excited to see more healthy eating and living videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you love shopping at Target. I know I do. Let's go ahead and get right on to our home products because I know you guys love knowing where I get my bowls and stuff too. All right, I was so excited when I saw a mini colander. This is perfect. This is by the Magnolia, or actually the Hearth and Home uh, collection from Joanna and Chip Gaines. I have the larger white ones uh, when their line first came out, but when I saw this size, I had to get it. This is perfect for draining beans or just, I've been cooking veggies for Aresi, just cutting them up into small pieces, so I don't need like a huge colander or anything to wash. I just I think this will be perfect for me to use. What she's been really into lately are butternut squash, broccoli, red bell peppers, which was really surprising to me. And the other day I mashed and pureed everything up with white beans, butternut squash, uh, what else did I put there? Chicken and bell peppers, and she could not get enough. It was like the cutest thing. She was so hangry. Uh, anyways, so. Yes, this is one of my favorite products thus far. Then I found these really cute, I don't know, I guess Tupperware, but food containers. And what I really love about them is that they are ceramic, so they're safe. I love that it's not plastic. Glass is really awesome, and I have a bunch of those, the ones that I bought from Costco, but I love how pretty these are. This is gonna be perfect for soup storage, and then I also got a rectangular one for, I don't know, rice bowls, or I can turn them into little bento boxes. Let me show you inside. They're pretty large, so I feel like I can put a lot of food in here. A lot of food storage. Oh, let's see. It's also oven safe without lid, so if I wanted to bake a mini lasagna or something, a uh, two portion size, this is the perfect size. I just fell in love with them even more. But look how pretty the designs are. It's kind of vintagey, but you know, very anthro-ish. I'm gonna be using these a lot, you guys. Next is this pillow. It's so soft, oh, and I love that it's pink, but not overwhelmingly pink. It has this like orangey, burnt orange and white to kind of, I don't know, tone it down a little, but my couch over there is this beige color and it was getting a little boring. I wanted to jazz it up with some fun pillows and also I love that this is nice and cushiony so when I fall asleep on the couch, it's comfortable. I posted on my Instagram stories last week whether I should get this one or the geometric shape one and you guys all voted for this so I had to come back for it. So I'm so, I'm so glad I did. Home decor is not really my forte so sometimes I need help in that department. Also for home, I got these placemats. I actually have four of these already, but Ollie ate one of them recently. We were running errands, we went to the grocery store, came back, and he had this really guilty look on his face, so I knew something happened, and I went into the kitchen, looked around, and there it was, eaten up, shredded into pieces, and I can't really blame him because there's probably like bacon pieces on there and he just wanted to get to it, but it was he was a very bad dog. So anyways, I had to get new ones and I love the tribal-ish design here, like these geometric shapes and it has a combo of metallic-y rose gold threading with the pink. If you guys can't, tell by now, I love pink. It's my favorite color and I, I love incorporating pink into more like edgy design or shapes just so it's not so girly all the time, but 
this one is a great balance and it goes really well with the picnic table out there. Whenever we have guests over, we'll lay like uh, four or five or six of these down there just to kind of make it look a little nicer. So I'm really happy with these placemats. For healthy living, it's not just about eating. I've been really trying to buy cleaner products to clean the home with. I switched over to using non-toxic and all natural cleaning ingredients. Um, some of them are hit and miss and you'd be surprised. I have this app called EWG um, and it kind of just rates how dirty the cleaning products are and method I was super surprised because they kind of greenwash you they say that it's good for the planet good for the home but when I looked it up it had like an F rating which has stuff that's really bad for you that could cause cancer like harmful for your skin could cause asthma stuff like that so I was really surprised and I actually went and returned it I should have just checked it there but I didn't think to do that and seventh generation actually got really great ratings so I switched to this dishwashing liquid and it works really well actually it cuts all the grease and um, I got this disinfecting multi-surface cleaner. It doesn't smell very good, I have to be honest. It kind of has like this fumey smell to it, but I know it's not bad. It's just kind of, uh, I don't know, I can't describe it. It's supposed to be lemongrass citrus scent. I guess that's what it is, but it smells kind of piney, I don't know. But I feel like this also cleans very well and the active ingredient is thymol, thymol, which is thyme oil and other natural ingredients. It was rated well, so I went with it, but I would love to know what some of your favorite cleaning products are so I could try them out or switch as well. Mrs. Myers, there was this honey, there was this honeysuckle fabric softener scent and I was like, honeysuckle, I have to get it. But it was also not rated very highly, so I had to return that as well. The Honest Company also has really great ratings for their cleaning products. So um, they actually sent me a grapefruit all-purpose cleaning spray. So the cleaner really loved it and asked me to get more, but I couldn't find it at the Target I went to. So I will have to check again and then check their ratings. So I will let you guys know how that one goes. Moving on to bath and body products. I got these cute fun loofahs with a ribbon here and uh, yeah, they're just easier in the shower. Not much to say about these. I also splurged and got an SC uh, nail polish. I saw this at the salon the last time I went there with my sister and it was so pretty that I really wanted to try it out. So I like, I don't have the luxury of going out to get my nails done anymore so I tend to do them at home. So these are gonna be for my toes. Lately the color I've been using a lot too is Chinchilli. What's your favorite Essie color? This one is called Bahama Mama. I also tried to look for hand sanitizer because apparently there's a flu epidemic going around so I just wanna be as clean and sanitized as possible when handling Erisee. Believe it or not, they ran out of all of their Purell bottles or just like the Target brand hand sanitizers. They were all out and all they had were these small ones. So I picked up two, one for the baby diaper bag and one for the car. I still have some left at home so, or I can just wash my hands with soap and stuff, but I wanted to get stuff on the go. And natural deodorant for Nate because he needs it. Manly. <laughs> okay, now moving on to the food items. I'm excited to share these food items with you guys because I'm gonna do a challenge. Actually, when I went to search for the food, I wanted to challenge myself. What can I make with multiple meals for you guys during the week using these products? And I came up with some fun ones, actually. For our produce and veggies, I found this lemon kale with protein. It's a complete salad kit. I'm not gonna use it as a salad though. I am just gonna be using it for the vegetables and incorporate it into the meals that I'm gonna make. I was thinking, since I also found this gochujang bottle, which is already mixed, I think. It has gochujang, um, it has garlic, 
vinegar, soy sauce, everything that I use to make your typical like gochujang dipping sauce for bibimbap or for marinade, I think is already in here. So I'm gonna play with it. And what I really wanna do is like a noodle stir fry. So I got chicken breast tenders right here. It's organic, so um, it was really nice. Wait, it's not organic. These are no antibiotics, and um, I try to look for chicken with no antibiotics added, natural, and if I can find them, organic, but they didn't have them, so I got these right here, and I'm gonna make that noodle stir fry using the chicken tenders sugar snap peas, and whole grain spaghetti. So with the items that I just showed you, I'm gonna try to make kind of an easy noodle stir fry. And then I also got this soppressata, which is an Italian cured meat. Um, it's pretty much like salami, but so much better. I've had them on pizzas before, and they are just amazing. I was so excited to find this at Target. And this one is also natural, no antibiotics, and I try to look for stuff with no nitrates, which this does not have. Their nitrate is from Swiss chard powder, which is really interesting. I never knew that Swiss chard had nitrates. Have to look into that some more. But with the combo of the spaghetti, soppressata, maybe chicken, and marinara sauce, I think I can whip up a pretty simple and easy weeknight meal. And if I wanted to throw in some extra veggies or kale that I have right here for an extra oomph. Yeah, so I figured there's a lot of ways to still be healthy. And even though Target doesn't have fresh produce, I think it's still easy to buy healthy items and be creative, incorporate them into packaged foods that are not overly processed to have a balanced and healthy meal. Uh, finally, for snacks, I have two Greek yogurts that I bought. You guys, check out the new Chobani labels. It's kind of vintage-y. I like it. It was different. I like the artwork, actually. It, it stood out for sure. But Chobani, I got key lime blended and coconut blended. I'm excited to try these tropical flavors. And of course, I have been craving dark chocolate like crazy. Specifically, I would eat a whole chocolate cake right now if I could. I just, I love cake so much and I miss it. But to satisfy my cravings, I found these uh, dark chocolate pieces. I love that they come in small pieces. Let's see. Small pieces so I can just munch on them when I have a craving for chocolate. I am doing a lot better with my sugar cravings. I know during the holidays, it just spiked. I had cookies and sweets and treats. Everyone was sending them to me and I couldn't go into the kitchen without grabbing one. And so for the new year, I really tried to just cut out most sugars. I allowed myself to eat natural sugars like honey, maple syrup, and dark chocolate um, because it has antioxidants that are good for you, but no process like cookies and stuff like that. So far so good though. I haven't, I crave them sometimes, but I haven't touched them. So I feel really good about that. Oh, I forgot. I also got some milk. They have organic, um, reduced fat milk, 2%, the usual. I like to drink milk with my coffee. Um, but that pretty much does it for my Target haul. I was keeping a keen eye out for little bowls and ramekins and stuff that I could share with you guys, but nothing was really calling my name and nothing that I would use right now so i didn't get any of those but if i see anything fun or special i will be sure to share it with you in future videos anyways tell me in the comment section what you like to buy at target and uh what kind of deals you guys find if you guys buy food items how do you use them up and how do you like to create your own find cuisine comment below and I'm so excited to share with you guys another Vietnamese inspired lunch tomorrow, maybe in a bento box. And uh, be sure to check back and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.